did he really uh, say something about a booze and cocaine infused party if he wins the election? Yes. So we got Dominic Caserta running for Santa Clara County Supervisor District 4. I get a terrible shot because I don't pay attention. So we already have the news showing up. We have Channel 2. And I think that's NBC. Or whoever's I recognize the we investigate. I can't remember who that is though. The only thing that matters is me. Here comes another one right now. So there's going to be a press conference here, which I'm going to live stream. We already have a lot of people showing up. I got this fellow over here. I'm not sure what he's doing. But the funny thing is that the billboard just happens to be right next to a really cool card shop. So I went in and checked that out before, before anything else. It's pretty much just uh, baseball cards. But they got Pokemon cards and they said they got magic cards coming soon, even though I'm not really that into that. Anyways, back to the story. So, the details I gave before, yes, true, the guy's running for Santa Clara County Supervisor District 4. He has some uneasy allegations against against him, and he's been called by the mayor to resign. So we're getting quite a gathering down over here now. <laughs> quite a bit of people. This billboard has already been bought and paid for, but. People are saying that since these, since it looks like he's definitely facing charges, there's no reason for this billboard to stay up. Certainly nobody would want a creep like this running in charge of anybody. And that's, it's kind of funny that it says his, his two, what his two little promotions are proven leader, real results. Isn't that ironic? Proven leader. Community about what's going on with this candidate because we want the business community to join with us and to, and to choose daughters over dollars and say that it's more important to leave that sign blank than to have somebody up there that has the allegations and has done, you know, supposedly done the things that they are saying. So we're here today to speak about that. Um, we're here to speak for all the people that uh, you know, may not have the chance to be here today or are too afraid to speak. But I can just introduce. Uh, can you say your name first? Oh, sorry. And uh, my name's Eric Stroker. Spell it. Uh, e R I C S T R O K E R. With the group or just the resident? Or? Uh, just a neighbor, community, concerned citizen myself. Um, you know, I'm partially familiar to the situation and, you know, as soon as everything came out, it was, you know, I was there by the side of all the, the, the accusers and the people involved, and, uh, you know, believed it, and it was true from day one, so. Why choose this sign? Why choose your, to do it here? Um, it's, maybe we can have somebody else speak to that question. I know somebody else is going to speak to that a little bit. Uh, I'm actually... Well, I'll, I'll take that question, I guess. Um, you know, one of the reasons that we're here at this spot... You know, this is one of the main entertainment pass-through commerce corridors in all of San Jose. And, you know, a lot of the people that have either been victims or witnessed, you know, or part of this situation, they have to come and pass under this billboard every day. And we don't want them to have to relive that trauma. And that's what we want the business community to stand with us to say, hey, you know what, we care about the people that have been a part of this. And we want to stand up for them and say, you know what, we I want to see you coming down here on a nice, you know, either sunrise or sunset and have to enjoy the beautiful San Jose community and have to see that and have that remind you of the things that happened to you, whether it happened in the past or the things that have been still happening. Uh, 
Did yes. Report to be taken down? We are, as soon as we're done here, we're going to be placing some phone calls. We were, we've actually tried to reach out to Outfront Media so far, um, but we're going to make some more calls from them uh, once we're done here today just to remind them, hey, here's the information. We're going to be sending them emails with links to the articles and the news stuff that you guys have been doing and taking some action. Um, certainly there's other people here that can speak better to that as well uh, than me. But uh, it's, 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 it's an information-based drive. Part of it is trying to utilize capitalism and use the market to say, hey, you know, I can't demand, you know, I can only demand justice so far. And I'd like the business community to understand that they can use the market with us to stand up against this type of predation that's occurring in our, in our community and how it's, you know, going unaddressed. Anyways. Um, there are other billboards featuring Dominic Caserta in the Santa Clara area. Um, the one that I've only, the only other one that I've specifically seen myself is one on uh, Highway 101 between San Tomas and De La Cruz. Uh, but it is not paid for by him. That is why we're specifically here at this one because it is paid for by his campaign. Um, so I, I believe there are, there may be others around the community, but. You know, based on the location of this and, you know, it being paid for by him, it's something that, you know, we, we will address the other billboards as well. I mean, that is, you know, not to be overlooked. Um, we also probably hope that the donors, the people that donate to that organization that are paying for that, you know, may consider trying to seek their money back or withdraw their support as well. But, again, other people may speak to this uh, today. So, uh, with that, uh, I'm going to introduce uh, another... Uh, the gentleman um, who, you know, and a part of this too is, you know, sadly what we're seeing is women had spoke up in the past and they weren't believed. And then it took a man to stand up and say something and all of a sudden people were like, well, maybe let's look into it a little bit more. And so thankfully we got today someone who's brave enough to speak up uh, and to kind of start this and, you know, so I'm going to leave it to him. So, Ian. manager from when to when? I was a uh, Dominic's campaign manager from January till April. Can you spell your name? I-A-N, last name is C-R-U-E-L-D-A-D. And didn't he say, didn't you say that he uh, threatened you physically? 30, 30. Yes. One of the things that Dominic Caserta did, once the media started asking him about my resignation letter, and advertising for or in support of Dominic Caserta. 
He has a long established record of sexual harassment, predatory behavior, ill temperament, and gross abuses of power. Thanks to the brave former staff members and now the brave former brave students and former students that are coming forward, we know the truth about him. We stand in opposition to his candidacy for the county supervisor. We stand here today as student as victims of witnesses, parents, Democrats, and Trump supporters, and concerned community members who demand that he withdraw immediately from the race, resign immediately from the Santa Clara City Council, and as a teacher from Santa Clara High School. personal connection, Sean, to Caserta, work with him, any of that sort of thing? Sean, what's your reaction to what the mayor said today? Um, I'm glad that she said it. I'd like to hear the whole council say it. I would like to hear every elected official far and wide say it, and the 49ers. It has been paid for until June 3rd. When I personally spoke to the outdoor media rep, they said uh, that, sorry, out front media rep, they said that uh, they would not take it down unless he personally asked for that. And that is why we are taking this approach because his candidacy is effectively dead in the water and we should not be able to victim re-victimize his, his victims every single time they pass this. And it also adds to voter confusion. indicated in your news release that you would have some of the victims here, or are they coming? The media is right around the corner. Oh, okay. Their organizations are part of Out Front Media's advertising group, and, you know, certainly it's part of the same thing. It's, it's, the next step is information. You know, we've, we have not met, been met with any, uh, any, anything in our way yet call for further action other than just trying to we believe that if the business community is properly informed on this issue, they'll make the right decision. So, and if they struggle to do that, we believe that if we inform some of the people that they do business with, they may be able to say to Alfron, hey, would you take a second look at this issue? So Please. these are people who also have billboards with Alfron that are paying Alfron yeah. to put their billboards up. Correct. So you're hoping that they're the ones that force the issue? Uh, it, it, we, we hope Alfron Media is willing to listen to us today and listen to us moving forward and you know that that's a, like I said that's an information conversation we'll have next if need be. Steve. So. Uh, right here. Did any of the victims come Turn, turn to your side. There you go. Sorry, what? Uh, you know it's something that we have spoke I've spoke with one person 
person specifically who is kind of like, it's just, they've witnessed behavior and they, they just told me that it's like, it is, it's just so uncomfortable to see him up there portraying one image when, as we're all learning, there's a, 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 a very different side to him. volunteered on his campaign from when to when? I started in uh, December and I left the campaign last week. Left the campaign last week and you were one of those who filed a complaint with police? Yes. So you're one of the nine. Yes. And, and when you talk about this started in 2002, you're referring to other members of the nine? Yes. 
How do you feel about him denying everything? Well, I think he's, he's a liar. He doesn't want to admit that And I think she should finally, you know, admit the truth and admit what she did. It's making me sad that he's denying everything. Because he knows what he did. And he also knows that it was not a okay. Can you spell your name for us, please? What? Can you spell your name for us? Uh, L Y D I A J U N G K I N G. Let's spell it. Does it pronounce the last name? Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you.